Welcome to Brand Snack, where we take a 10 minute break, munch on our favorite snack, while we have bite-sized discussions with brands people crave and love. In today's Brand Snack, we visited Image360, a custom graphics, signage, and displays franchise spread across United States and Canada. We'll be interviewing Jessica Ying, who is the VP of Business Development for Alliance Franchise Brands. Now, she was the VP of Marketing for Image360 when it was initially created. So, Jessica Ng, thank you so much for meeting with me. This is really exciting because Image360 is a very bold brand. And this whole brand snack show is very much about brand stories, making sure that brands can communicate what makes them different. So I'm eager to learn more about the Image360 brand. Before we dive into that, as you all know, with Brand Snack, we first like to share what is your favorite snack? Okay, well, my favorite snack is the classic Ooh. animal crackers. Okay, oldie but a goodie, right? Okay. Give me that thing. All right. Let's get this going. All right. So what about the iconic animal crackers keeps you coming back for more? Well, I just think they're underrated. I mean, they're called the cracker, but they have the perfect blend of sweetness. Oh my gosh, so they're like right. a cookie. So it makes you feel healthy, not overly sweet, perfect crunch. What could go wrong? You know what I've always liked about the animal cracker? It's that it's that smooth texture. Yeah. You know what it is? It's uh, um, the way it just kind of sits on your tongue at oh. first. And what would you say the flavor is? It's not vanilla. It, it's just, uh, I don't know, maybe a almond, vanilla, but, but the, the crunch and the sweetness is a perfect blend. Tell me what they remind you of as a kid. I mean, I remember eating animal crackers in elementary school. I'm sure we all did. In fact, what do animal crackers remind you of? Go ahead and leave a comment. Let us know. And I I'm curious, what about you? What does it remind you of? Hopefully nothing traumatic. No, thankfully no. Um, no, they bring back beautiful memories of my childhood. Um, probably most significant is just times with my grandmother. Okay. Um, playing cards. We would play all different types of card games, sitting at her kitchen table, having some animal crackers. So all good. Things. That's a great memory. So like branding, right? Your brand will have elements that people remember. And so that's what we want to uncover and unpack today with Image360. So as we eat our favorite snack, mm -hmm. we're going to go ahead and look up the logo. So if we can put the logo, let's go ahead and put the logo up right now. All right. So here we go. Here is the Image360 logo. And there are a lot of really great elements here. And um, I want to talk more about how this came about because Image360, it was a consolidation of brands. And my understanding is that it was a strategic move. Can you explain to me what happened? What was going on in the business at the time? Yeah, um, this was a really um, kind of a bold decision uh, for us at the time in the market. So this was around uh, 2013 when the Image360 brand was launched. And we really wanted to come up with a brand that represented the full service solutions that we provided our clients. Yes, we provided, you know, quick turn, but it was really more about the strategic ideas and the solutions okay. Um, that consultation that we brought to our clients that we wa really wanted to illustrate through this new brand. And from concept to execution? Absolutely. When any of our clients, you know, think about their brand, there are so many elements to it. And so as a graphic communications and signage partner, we want to take that brand from ideation all the way to completion whether that's putting it on windows, walls, floors, you name it, that brand is critical to our client and we want to be part of every step. Now, one of the things I like about the brand is the fact that you have the bold font used, right? Mm -hmm. And it's italicized, which shows movement. It shows like just grabs your attention. Yeah. You know, it was important for us again to have this brand that was really going to convey all that we could do for our clients. So from the bold font choice to the, um, the, the bold colors yeah. that we use in the logo to obviously the name itself, Image360, yeah. we want to be able to provide 360 degree solutions, right? Full circle, holistic consultation to our clients because that's what they deserve. Yeah. 
And, you know, it is a very memorable brand. I started looking at your brand guidelines, which are an important, you know, tool toolkit when you're developing, going through a rebranding. You want to be able to get all of the facets of what you're working with here so you can build it and promote it and and continue to add new elements to the story. Um, I got a chance to look at the vehicle wraps that you guys put in there. And the first thing I said to you was, wow, these look like bold stickers. Mm. Let's go ahead and show those on the screen so people can see. All right, so here we go. Here are some of the vehicle wraps that Image 360 will go ahead and promote as a, an acceptable design mm-hmm. for the franchisees, right? We want to use all of the channels that we would recommend our clients use to promote their brand for ourselves. So our local franchise members are going to have uh, bold designs for their spaces, for their vehicles, um, and that that's going to be important to get the name recognition out in the local community. Um, you know, our businesses are locally owned and operated, um, so they are very um, deeply rooted in those local communities, and we want to make sure that everyone in the community knows that Image360 is the go-to resource for all of their signage yeah. needs. It's definitely memorable for sure. Um, what would you say are the more iconic elements of it. Obviously, the circle, Mm -hmm. right, for full cycle. But I also saw that you have Image 360 kind of off to the side. And then let's go ahead and show the Image 360 in the center. Yeah, well, I think, you know, there's, there's as you look at this, there's there's two elements that you're looking at, right? It's the Image 360 at the center. Um, For us, it's about um, being that provider for our clients. At the end of the day, our clients are our everything. So we put them first in everything that we do. Um, Around the brand, you'll see these arrows, these very colorful arrows. Um, Those represent a couple different things. Um, Certainly our bold solutions uh, through those bold colors, but also the arrows that show the process that we take our clients through to make sure that we have their brand represented in the best light. Yeah. And it's also a message of like, you know, traditional signage. This is where you got to go. This is the starting point, right? So when, you know, customers are looking for ways to direct their customers to do things operationally in their business, or maybe they're doing an event, some sort of marketing promo, you want to be able to show people where to go. So the arrows are a perfect way to communicate that. What about the future of Image 360? How many locations do you have now and how quickly are you guys growing? Um, Yeah, so, um, you know, we originally launched the Image 360 brand in 2013. Um, Here we are in 2024 and we have over 130 locations operating under the Image 360 brand. Um, And as you mentioned, it's so critical that, you know, all of those locations positively represent the Image360 brand in those local communities. Um, So we provide those identity standards um, and all of the tools to make sure that whether you're in, you know, Minnesota or California, that Image360 brand is going to be consistent. Yeah. You know, especially when you're in a franchise system, I've known that, you know, franchisees, they they make it their own. (laughs) And sometimes they want to be able to say something quick like just want to introduce what i do quickly so i like the version that you have where it's like graphics signs and displays let's go ahead and look that look that at that one on screen real quick so we have two options here we have the graphics signs and displays and then we have the other one which is with the slogan Mm -hmm. so let's compare I, i think the first one obviously is more like hey quickly top of mind this is what we do which is important for a franchisee especially when they're open for people to know these are the three things that we specialize in, right? That's right. Yeah. And because, you know, when you look at Image360, you may not know instinctively what we offer. Mm. So, you know, it was important for us to include um, graphics that enhance, signage that works, and displays that inform. Um, So it was, right? So, you know, you want to make it very clear to anybody that sees our logo uh, what what we bring to the yeah. table. Visual communication. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It's so critical. Um, but then, you know, we really saw our differentiation um, being what we uh, do for our clients, the solutions that we provide to our customers. And so that's why we came up with the tagline, bold solutions, exceptional support. That tagline really represents, again, the 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 bold ideas that we bring to the table to help our clients grow their brand, um, but also the way that we approach our customers. 
right? Um, making sure that at every client touch, we're delivering that five star customer experience. We all we all want those five stops, Absolutely. right? Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're looking at a logo, it's important to distinguish. Okay, yes, this is a visual identity, but when you have a brand, there's more to, to there's more to unpack there, right? There's other components. Now, being a VP of marketing, um, when this first launched, you received the brand guidelines. And what did you do with them? I mean, you looked at them and you were like, okay, so this is my framework. And, and you know, our, our brand guidelines really are uh, meant to just kind of create guardrails to help our franchise members um, know what they can and can't do. So again, uh, entrepreneurs um, want to, you know, be creative and we want them to be creative. We want them to take this brand and really make it work in their marketplace. But we also want to have brand consistency. Um, so those guidelines are really meant to just say, let's be consistent with our brand, our trademark brand, so we can, again, from market to market, location to location, people know what they're going to get. We're positioning ourselves as brand experts out in the market. And so we, uh, we of course, needed to have a brand uh, that conveyed that. So whether you're taking the Image360 brand, putting it on a pen, on a T-shirt, on a hat, or on a wall, um, you know, we wanted to be sure that it conveyed that creative process, that that full service solutions, um, and again, our ability to really take an idea from concept to completion, um, all with just looking at that brand. Yeah, definitely full circle, full impact. I really appreciate you coming in and sharing the brand story. It's really insightful, and I'm sure it's going to be great for everyone that's watching to be able to see how other brands are managing their corporate identity and using their brand story in their growth journeys. Thanks again for joining us, Jessica. Appreciate you. Thank you so much.